Now, you're quite right. I mean, this was a man who uh, was clever. Um, he's educated, he's articulate, he's intelligent, and he had a career before him, possibly at one point, as a doctor. Uh, and uh, then what happened was he became what he described as self-radicalized. Um, and we all know what that means, and largely through the net. Um, and he developed the idea that it was the will of Allah that he should kill uh, people who were any sort of threat to Muslims, and he put in that bracket MPs who'd voted to, to bomb Islamic State. Uh, and that was why he decided to kill David. Now, you know, there was no other reason, and he never said that there was any other reason or pretended there was any other reason. This was uh, a, a, an example of extreme Islam. Uh, and actually, I think counsel for the prosecution who did a terrific job, but they missed one trick. They said to him, um, uh, counsel said to him, uh, are you uh, an extreme Muslim? And he said, no, I'm a moderate Muslim. I would have liked the next question to be, so what's an extreme Muslim then? Because that's what he is. Now, I think lots of things about this. Um, first of all, it's crucial that anybody who thinks that a friend or a relative, even a very close relative like a son or a brother, who may be becoming radicalized, it's Im desperately important that they report that, not only uh, in order to save potential victims, but also for the sake of that person. Because I'm glad, and God forbid that I should rejoice in anybody's imprisonment, but I am glad that what he's facing is not the martyrdom he wanted to die in a hail of police bullets, yeah. take some short up to paradise. He's got instead half a century or more of being confined, moving between a narrow cell, probably with a loo in it, uh, to an exercise yard which is restricted. He's never going to be able to wander free, not even able to do something very simple, like meet a friend for coffee, uh, you know, go out uh, to the shops. Never anything of that sort ever again. And I want the message to go out to anybody who is contemplating an act of terror. That is what is waiting for you. Uh, and that, I think, is a crucial message.